And I think that we have to not be lazy Christians in this time because the ease to critique rather than to prophesy is because there is emptiness. It's good. So the only thing I can do right now is critique the issue. Wow. But if I have knowledge of what is, then I will begin to declare and decree. The New Age understands the power of just speaking Speaking. their words, Mm -hmm. their words. But we have been given something that is so beautiful and innocent and crafted from the eternal realm, which is the word of God. That's right. And so God is like, hey, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Think my thoughts. How do we do that? With his word. So I love that we have the word Mm -hmm. and the word that God has entrusted us with is his will. I love that. And I believe like, especially in these times to not be a lazy Christian because you cannot speak from what you don't have, you know? And I think that that's also what's happening in these times where a lot of people are relying on other people to give them words and to tell them what everyone has access yes. to. Yes. And so you cannot be a lazy Christian in this time. So know the word for yourself. Mm-hmm. Because even with Jesus, when he was faced in the wilderness, when Satan came up against him, he had the word. Amen. And one of the things, because I was so intrigued, like, what were you doing all those years <laughs> you know, that we didn't see you? <laughs> But in the scripture, when he was in the temple and he was reading the word, Mm -hmm. the Bible talks about as it was his custom, as he did regularly. Mm -hmm. So it gave us a hint that all those years, we have no clue what Jesus was doing. He was reading the word. He was studying the word. And so he had it in him. He was the word, but he also came in the form of man so he could connect and relate Mm -hmm. to us. And so he had the word in him that he could speak against the enemy. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to not be lazy Christians in this time because the ease to critique rather than to prophesy is because there is emptiness. Mm. It's good. So the only thing I can do right now is critique the issue. Yep. Wow. But if I have knowledge of what is, then I will begin to declare and decree. Even this morning, just in my prayer time, I was reading the last chapter of Daniel. And there's a verse in that when it talks about, you know, and in the last days, the wicked will do more wickedly and the wicked will not understand, but the wise will understand. Mm. And I was like, wow. It just struck me so beautiful because when the Bible talks about wise men, they're talking about people that know the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so they would have an understanding, not just to criticize, they know what to speak into. Right. So yeah. good. I love that. You know, one of my sons, and this sounds silly, but one of my sons had a wart on his lip. And he was very self-conscious about it. And I just started saying to him, you know what? By the time school starts, that thing is going to be gone. Every single night, by the time school starts, that thing is going to And I just was saying that. And the night before school started, it was there. The morning when he got up, it was gone. And I feel like we have this ability to speak. And again, I can tie that to the word. I can tie it to Psalm 103. There's all these different words, but what I love is you need people that are going to speak the word. Think about it. We have been entrusted with the word of God, which is the language of all of our making. Everything that we have seen has made by the unseen God speaking something into nothing. He's the only one that can take nothing and make something out of it. So when we act like our father, we speak the word of God into something that is void and it gets filled. And it says faith is the substance. Substance. So it's actually, if you don't have faith, you don't have substance to release until we get the substance from the word Mm -hmm. and then we speak it into the situation. And it's very concerning to me because, you know, it says in Acts 2, 17, that in the last days, God's gonna pour out his spirit on all flesh. And he says, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy. prophesy. But what I see happening right now is the secondary lower form. There's not prophesying, which you talked about, that when you see a problem, a prophetic anointing comes and speaks the answer. It sees beyond what is happening right here, and it sees God's good, best promise on the other side. But we have a generation that is, instead of prophesying, they are criticizing. And they think they're anointed to criticize, but they're not anointed to criticize. They're anointed to speak, but they're anointed to speak God's plan, you know, and so I love that we can model that as mothers in our homes with our children, and we can model it as people who care about our nations, Mm -hmm. 
care about the culture, we can't just go around echoing what we're hearing on CNN. That's right. Yes. God has given us his word. And we have the privilege of praying his word. And then he says, he watches over his word to perform it. Mm -hmm. I can't perform his word, but if I speak it, God says the word would not return unto him void. So if I read it and then when I say it, I return it back to him. Yeah. God, so be it. So be it. You figure out what it looks like, so be it. He'll watch over it and he'll perform it. So I, and I live love how in perfect. It. Yes. We have to live in it. And that's what you were saying, Stephanie. And that's what I was trying to share about my testimony is you got to step yes. in yeah. to what that word is in our own heart. And then as we step in, we can activate what God's promises are. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.